Let's talk about absolute motion analysis. Let me first show you an example. And here, uh, in this example, every this link, uh, this rod is connected to the collar. Each of collar, um, the motion is constrained by these two rod, because collar cannot move to the right. On here, only up and down, and the left collar only move right and left, not up and down. I, I want to find the velocity of VB, color B, uh, given the information that uh, the A velocity at this current time is 2 meter per second. At this time, the distance between A from the O is 6 meter. Then how we find the velocity of B, then as you see that uh, every kind of rigid bodies are connected to each other and some are constrained by other um, geometric figures so and then we have some informations about other mo motions then we have to figure out other uh, velocity uh, information of other object here so in this case uh, the idea is that to describe the kinematics of the rigid body especially for multiple rigid bodies connected to each other. The first, uh, we make sure that geometric relationship which define the configuration of body involved. Then uh, we take differentiate the defining geometric relations to obtain velocity and acceleration. You understand why we have to do the differentiate because once you define the geometric relations that involves the position. And if you take a differentiate the positions, you'd get the velocity and acceleration of each different part of the body. Let's show, uh, let me show a very, a very simple uh, one constraint motion. Constraint means uh, the one edge here is pointed to the uh, O then everything is rotating about this center so that move the rigid bar cannot move freely because it's kind of pinpointed on O and it's rotating about O okay so somewhat constrained by this rotational axis then uh, the first we have to uh, look at the geometric relations so for example uh, if you look at this kind of three triangle right angle triangle then x is l cosine theta and y is l sine theta so if i uh, provide what would be angular velocity for example if this is given for example then uh, we can easily compute what is y dot and y is uh, x dot that means we can easily config configure what would be the p point x component acceleration y component acceleration due to this geometric relationship right now x and y relate to theta through this geometric configuration right so if you take a differentiate which means dx dt which is x dot then l and sine theta and theta dot so look at that so x component of velocity x is related to uh, our omega right so given the omega you can get the vx or given the vx you can get the omega so uh, once the first we configure the re a geometric relationships then second we just take a differentiate to relate uh, the velocities of uh, parts of your body let me give you a more uh, other another example uh, we saw this example before so right now uh, let's try to figure it out okay so first uh, let's try to find the geometric configuration so if I use 
呃 Pythagorean 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 relationships, which is ten square side square is equal to um, x square plus y square. So let's say from here to here is my x, and from here to here is my y. Okay, the our side is fixed. Okay, so this is our kind of geometric configuration. Then um, I want to. And then also uh, we have another geometric configuration which is 10 uh, cosine theta will be our x and 10 sine theta will be okay two well, let's take a uh, differentiate so um, let's do take a differentiate the we have three equations one geometric second and third so if you do the from the first on the left side will be zero and this is 2x and dx over dt if I use chain rule 2y dy over dt right so this is 0 and 2x the vx and 2y the vy how about the second one so 10 minus sine theta and omega is equal to x dot which is vx and then 10 sine theta omega is equal to y dot that is b y okay then uh, we know the velocity of uh, a so right now the velocity a is given as 2 meter per second square so uh, if we want to uh, given and also we know x is uh, 6 okay then um, right now uh, I think we can get the theta as well because when x is 6 the side is 10 so 10 cosine theta should be 6 so cosine theta should be 6 over 10 then uh, I want to find out I want to find out my the v y okay v y. Then I want to find a, a v y. And then uh, basically uh, you can just find out the v y from this equation too. So from this the force uh, equations, my v y is equal to minus two x the v x divided by two y. So this is. Uh, x y and v x then look at that uh, my x is 6 okay then what is the y so at this given time if the x is 6 so 10 square is 6 square and this one should be what so this is y square so 100 divided by minus 36 is y square so this one should be 64 so y is uh, 8 right so uh, we know the eight y is 8 like that and at the time we have the velocity of vx which was given as a 2 meter per second square but right now um, so if I just write down 2 here, so that means this is negative 12 and 8. If I just a little bit more simplified, this is 3 over 2, okay? So minus 1.5. So minus 1 point meter per second squared. So I got the negative here. So negative means since I make my up as a positive so velocity should be going down so as you see here uh, actually even though we can get more uh, geometric configurations and actually we didn't use this information right so these are kind of reduc reduc uh, reductant informations we just use these geometric configurations that we just take a derivatives then we got everything um, from this equation. Okay.
then uh, this is a little bit more uh, challenging the crank AB is connected to crank BC and I want to find the velocity of block C and the angular velocity of the uh, rod B, link BC at instant theta is 30 uh, degrees. This is a little bit more complicated but uh, let's just okay here uh, our given condition is the omega AB that is rotating at 5 radian per second and at this instance third theta is 30 degrees. We want to determine what is the uh, C uh, horizontal velocity and what is think BC angular velocity. So right now uh, we can look at the geometric configuration. Our x, total length x is like if you kind of looking at it, L x is let's say this is L1 and this is L2. This is L1 plus L2, right? And then um, right now um, I want to make counterclockwise is positives so instead of using phi is here I want to define my phi uh, from my horizontal line in this way so I want to set my phi here okay. so L1 is 0.6 cosine theta and then L2 Okay, L2 is 0.3 cosine 180 minus phi. Okay. And I have another configuration here, so which is if I add this H1 plus this another height H2, that should be uh, 0 point sine theta should be H1 plus H2. So this one is equal to h1 is 1.01 point. This is sine 180 minus phi. So we have 1 and 2. And then uh, from 2, equation 2, uh, when theta is 30 degree, if you plug the theta into here, then we can get the uh, phi value. 180 minus phi is equal to sine inverse 0.3 minus 15 divided by 0.3 this is 30 so you know that at this time phi is 150 degree at this instance and second step is take uh, derivatives of 1 and 2 so if uh, from 1 if you just take a derivatives of 1 and on left side is x dot, okay. And then uh, on the right side is minus 0.6 sine theta and theta dot, theta dot. And then uh, on the right side, and then if you do that, 0.3 and sine 180 minus phi, okay. And then um, because we do the uh, sign, uh, we have to put the negative, and then uh, let me see. Let me change this is a negative, and then minus phi dot. Okay, minus phi dot. So if I just rearrange it, this is zero point six sine theta, and omega a b right theta dot is omega a b and we have a negative negative plus 0.3 sine 180 minus phi is the same as just the sine phi right sine phi and phi dot that is third equation and if you take derivatives of your second equations okay on the left side is 0.6 cosine theta and theta dot on the right side uh, this is constant is 0 and minus 0.3 sine uh, cosine oh I'm sorry the 0.3 cosine and 180 minus phi and minus phi dot okay 
So this one becomes uh, cosine 180 minus phi is minus cosine phi. That's why this one becomes 0.3 cosine cosine phi and then phi dot. So this one becomes number 4. So uh, from equation 4, your phi dot becomes 0.6 cosine theta, theta dot, divided by 0.3 cosine phi, okay? So, right now we have everything, 0.6 cosine 30 degree, and theta dot is omega AB, omega is 5, and divided by 0.3 cosine 150, this is minus, one radian per second. So negative means negative means it should be uh, rotating canonical wise. Then from equation number three, okay, this is equation number three. I want to find x dot. X dot is the velocity of c, right? So x dot is velocity of c, the so minus point six sine thirty, and five radian per second. Point three and sine 150 and we just got this one okay this is minus 10 so if you just do that this one gives me 3 meter per second so negative means uh, it should move to the left okay. so it makes sense it makes sense uh, when the link when the link is rotating like that and uh, this link we see, okay, will rotate in this way. At the same time, this color will move to the left. So that's why we have a negative here and negative here. 